Good morning. My name is Ron Adams, and I'm from AV Waytronics, and here to talk about Way Systems and how it becomes part of the green energy uh, industry. You know, Way and Devices in our program, we have six divisions at AV Waytronics. We offer scales that go from one gram capacity up to a hundred and some tons. There's a variety of scales we offer globally and also in all industries across um, in, in all mass. Now, just how much do um, scales interact with our everyday life? Um, when you come into this world, you're weighed in as a baby, as you see up there, a little baby scale. Then all through your life, there are a variety of scales that interact in your life. I mean, everything we touch around us, your clothes, everything in this building, one way or another, hits the scale. The food you buy in grocery stores, and as, uh, as you go out in life, too, you also weight also. So what I want to talk about today is how does our weighing systems interact with today's um, green, en green energy initiatives. Now what you have in some of these areas we have present to you, there is you know, green energy in the biomass you know, program as you see here. That is fuels being burnt to create tomorrow's clean energy, recycled waste, uh, materials from um, our household garbage, etc. There's biofuels, biofuels create you know, tomorrow's ethanol plants and material in that area. And then solar and wind products, that's all managed through scales and their inventory control of manufacturing. And then also the electronic vehicles of today come through manufacturing control with, with using weighing systems, counting scales, warehouse management equipment, all contribute to the manufacture of today's new electronic fuel efficient equipment. So what we present here is a large variety of scales to fill these applications. We present truck scales, you know, scales for warehouse management, processing equipment that go on tank weighing systems, typical little bench scales they use in ship and receiving, process control, and then in the truck scales for weight management and data information as we see over here. But all this goes across all the industries, processing, transportation, and waste. So what I want to talk about a little bit is the applications, how these scales interact in the industry. Now what I present here is a biofuel plant back in Minnesota, and pictured here is a inbound, outbound truck scale system. Now what this does is, this is bringing in corn products to this plant to be processed into you know, future ethanol fuel. And the way it's presented here, the truck comes in fully loaded, goes back in the plant, leave, drops its product, and comes back out empty and they get the gross tear net weight of that product for the operation. But one unique feature about this application, there's a little tiny kiosk off the side there in the front of that blue scale on the right. And the kiosk is an unattended system to where the driver interfaces with the kiosk efficiently, not getting out of the truck and do a lot of time, timely, costly processes. So the truck comes in, dumps, comes out, all done in one, one complete, efficient operation. Another application is for like a railroad scale. And what we see here is, you know, a picture there is a scale built into the rail itself. And on the left side there is a picture of a train coming out, depositing its coal products at a, a processing plant. I think this is out of England. And on the top picture there is kind of a unique application, is a mass transit system, and it's a light rail car. Now what we've done, we've installed these rails, rail scales in the rail of the light transit center. So to maintain the efficiency of the cars as to the number of cars running per shift or the number of cars by load we've done is monitor the passenger load during that transaction during the day. So as they accumulate data of passenger load they know when to add cars or take cars off the line to have a more efficient system throughout the day because if you're running empty cars you're wasting energy, you're wasting maintenance on cars. So again Weight technology is creating efficient means of running your business, the environment, and so on. Like earlier, the previous gentleman talking about was talking about you know, MTCO2s and putting cap on and cap control and amount of emissions being created. And how you do that also, part of that is the weighing technology. You're trying to maintain the amount of material you're burning at one, at one time, the efficiency of your burn, the control, and so on. So your emissions eventually start out by being weight controlled. 
I mean, many of the products we supply to customers are the amount of material going to one plant at one time. You put too much in, it doesn't burn efficiently, efficiently or you put too little in, you're not burning to the highest level of your, your creating fuel. And some other ways to do in smaller technology, you know, we have indicators, counting scales, and, and um, small piece counting scales and pharmacy scales, and they all provide a way of count, measuring, and control and communicate as to your plant. So for instance, in the solar energy, you know, many of these uh, manufacturing plants are coming up in you know, a couple in California around the country. And as part of that development, all these solar panels have multiple, multiple parts. The, the materials being formed efficiently. So we have different you know, lift truck scales you see on the left there. They provide inbound, outbound control and weight management without stopping your warehouse production. Now on the right side is a, what they call a piece counting scale, and that maintains the inventory so you're stocking in real time. You know, the real time manufacturing material is controlled by having the right stock levels. So our piece counting scales provide control of inbound and of inventory coming into the plant. And overhead, in the other part of our plant, our product lines, we have overhead control systems and quality control instruments that provide efficient development of these plants. So quality control is, comes out of our way in systems also. And this is out of our Dillon force measurement line and our lab balances provide quality control measures for production. So throughout the operation you know, of a plant, there is a weight control theme. And as that goes from the time a scale is first weighing product in the beginning of a process through the entire process of the plant, there is weight information and demand throughout the process control. You know, from the plant engineer to the controller, there's many levels of communication that needs to be done. So our instruments pictured here could go multiple platforms of communication of device net, profi bus, and ethernet. So this way, a controller at any point in the plant can understand his process and real-time flow. Um, and another point area for um, information is in, you know, for like biomass, there's fields being, you know, corn fields, sugar cane is some of the new sources. All these are products coming from the field and providing, you know, need for fertilization of these fields and development of proper field yield. So we have a line of scales that for the agricultural business that provide complete field you know, growth products. You have the right yield at one time. So basically you measure performance from the field to energy to feed. And just a little background of our company. It was, you know, Avery was founded in 1731, so it's been a well-established company. And behind that, we devolved through the years. In 1998 here, we merged with my earlier company, Waytronics, become Avery Waytronics. And now today, in 2008, we've been acquired with ITW, 2008-2009. And we're located in manufacturing plants from Minnesota to Fairmont and Santa Rosa in the U.S. We have you know, distribution centers in worldwide, England, China, Malaysia, and Austria. And multiple sites beyond that, those factories, we have distribution in 60 other countries. So we're well established in recognition. So basically our company offers various innovative solutions to all industry and, not be, and well beyond the green industries of, um, of the environment. So thank you and just short presentation and any questions, I'd be happy. So large to one scale to many, manage intelligence and complete service. So thank you very much.